Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at the Marching Raiders at BOA and how you can be a part of this year's musical. Plus, see how you can make a difference at next blood drive. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Kaylee Hall. And I'm Ashlyn Sweat. Congratulations to November Student of, of the Month, Jenna Kaczynski. Jenna was nominated by Miss Kemp for being a dedicated student who takes pride in all that she does. Jenna goes above and beyond on every assignment, is a huge asset to, to the school as a part of the girls' swim team, and her positivity and kindness are contagious. Mrs. Kent also said that it is a pleasure to have Jenna in class and that she cannot wait to see all that she has accomplished in her years to come at EPT. EPCJHS. Congratulations, Jenna. Want to donate blood? Sign up at lunch for the next blood drive on Friday, November 17th. On the day of the blood drive, you must bring either your driver's license or two forms of ID. Also, students are reminded to eat a healthy meal and drink lots of water before giving blood. Book Club for the month of November meets on Wednesday, November 15th, right after school in the library. This month's theme is mystery, horror, or thriller. Attention freshmen, the fall butter raid is going on now. Access your individual portal and you can sell the pastries either online or paper copy. If you have any questions or need a paper copy, please stop by Mrs. Wise's room in 102F or Mrs. Ferguson's room 104E. The top three sellers win a prize. If you want to be in co-op for spring 24, January through May 2024, applications are now in the class of 24 and class of 25 Google Classrooms. If you have any questions or if you need help, please see Miss Lake's room in 253C. Students, as the weather is getting colder, remember to not leave your Chromebooks in your cars or cold areas. Leaving them in cold areas can lead to the screen cracking or it just not working, and you will be charged for the damages. Interested in boys swimming? Open swims will be held at five points November 13th, 14th, and 16th from 320 to 445. The first official practice is November 20th from 320 to 445. As well, see Ms. Wagenbach in the main entrance to sign up. Kaylee and Nate are back with this week's Raider Report. A huge shout out goes to the girls swim team who are the IHSA sectional champs for the first time in school history. Jenna Kaczynski took seventh place in the 200 freestyle and sixth place in the 500 freestyle. Elise Ahrens took third place in both her individual events in the, the 50 and the 100 freestyle, setting new personal best times in each event. Jenna and Elise both swam as part of the 200 freestyle relay, which took third place and set a new record for the school, and Elise also swam as part of the 400 freestyle relay, which took second place and also set a new school record. Congratulations, ladies. What a wonderful season. A huge shout out goes to James Rankin for making the Mid Illini Senior All Star Soccer Team represent an EPCHS at the All-Star Game on Monday, November 6th. Way to go, James. On Saturday, November 4th, the Chess Varsity team finished in third place in the Morton Chess Tournament. On Varsity, Nathan Tini earned three wins and a draw. Mason Brown, Milo Sergison, and Meadow Terry finished with three wins. Vincent Bray earned a win and a draw, and Skylar Berkeley earned a win. On JV, Jaden Sheely earned two draws. Andrew, Andrew Kinzer earned three wins. Robert Riley earned two wins and a draw. Anthony Romero earned two wins. Colin Kinzer earned a win and a draw. Gabriel Hoots earned two wins in the Open Tournament. Brianna Benedict earned a win. Jax Marquardt earned two wins and a draw. The JV Scholastic Bowl competed in their first tournament hosted by Limestone High School the weekend of November 4th. The team finished the day 3-4 and freshman Corbin Coover was awarded All-Tournament Team. Corbin answered 33 toss-ups correctly, earning his team 355 points overall. Nice job, Corbin. This has been this week's Raider Report. I'm Kaylee Gruber. And I'm Nathan Van Winkle. Permanent hire Grayson Vallis is back with your weekly weather report. Next week's going to be pretty cold, starting with tonight being a high of 36 degrees with some clouds. Tomorrow is going to be high of 61, all sunny outside. Wednesday is going to be high of 62, all sun. And check your weather apps for the rest of the weather. Thank you. Oh, hi.
Hi, I'm Miss Reinhardt, and I'm this year's director for our school musical productions. And Anna and I are here um, to talk about a few pieces of information we think that would be very important if you are interested in coming out and giving it a try. So on Tuesday, November 14th, during Raider Hour, we have a musical interest meeting in the auditorium. So come on down and see us, and we'll talk about the show and what you can expect coming up for audition workshops. Anna, speaking of audition workshops, what is this about? It's um, no Wednesday, November 29th is singing, and Thursday, November 30th is dancing, and they're from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Then beyond that, the actual auditions are December 4th, December 5th, that's a Monday, or a Tuesday. You only have to come to one night, not just, not both, just one. And they're also from 5.30 to 7.30, and that's where we'll see you dance and sing basically what you learned at the workshops. Um, we'll have callbacks, but we'll have that date and time at a later moment. Um, Anna, would you say that we're flexible with students who might be involved in a lot? I would say so. I mean, the musical is like right in between basketball and soccer, so it's always at the end of basketball season, right in between soccer, and I play both of those sports, so you might think it's a lot, but honestly, like, we have like little workshops for like certain people, and it's only at least once a week up until Tech Week, so it's really not too much to handle. Interested in being part of our shows, but you know, you feel like maybe it's not really your thing, you're a little uncomfortable, come on out and see us. We'd love to have you. Um, and even if you don't want to be on stage, we have a lot of other opportunities for you to participate. So um, you can assist production staff, hair, makeup, costuming artwork, um, social media, promotions, the sky's really the limit. So if you're interested in any way, um, you can come to the meeting on November 14th, or if you want to come see me, we can talk about it. We hope to see you there. So what can I do you for? All right then, seems like your friend's unconscious. Well, Dr. Malpractice, it's pretty easy to tell that he's unconscious. I just want to know why. It's just a lack of blood in the body. Well, how can you tell? Well, my bladometer readings are pretty low. We're in these 50 cc's of blood stats. This can't be. The bladometer readings are super low. What are we gonna do? Hmm. I was never trained for this. I think we're gonna have to amputate his leg. Doctor Medical Malpractice, are you sure you know what you're doing? Hey, be professional. Call me Mr. Doctor Medical Malpractice. Wait. So you aren't a doctor? Here we go! <laughs> Hi there, my name is Mr. Dr. Medical Malpractice, and after a few criminal trials at the Senate hearing, I am here today to fill my community service, and I know all of you are asking, Mr. Dr. Medical Malpractice, how can I help you with a blood Number one, come and donate your blood. Number two, don't forget to bring some form of identification. Number three, drink plenty of water. Number four, keep your iron levels high. And number five, donate your blood. Please. All right, now that we know the five Ds of blood, let's find an unsuspecting victim to try them out on. Oh uh, yes, we have a fine blood bag right here. Say, young chap, do you want to donate your blood? Well, my friend just died, so I guess. Here, drink this. Mr. Doctor Medical mal Malpractice?
searched for new lands and gold in the unknown. He was never alone when the sea was his home. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announce announcements, be sure to listen to Lizzie Stinger every day during Raider Hour. They're also on the school's website at ep309.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in on this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Ashlyn Sweat. And I'm Kaylee Hall. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a great, great Raider, Raider Day. day.